This right here is the best physique known to man. From his calves all the way to his shoulders. This is UFC welterweight champion Leon Edwards, who has the most aesthetic physique in the world. Sure, a lot of this is my opinion, but there are universal and biological standards to aesthetics. Because a physique like this isn't aesthetic in real life, despite what all these bodybuilding TikToks are going to tell you. Because what I believe is most aesthetic in real life is what's most attractive in real life. Just like how a lot of guys think the same Instagram models are the most attractive, girls feel the same way about men's body types. Men love that hourglass shape in a woman. The big butt and hips with the narrow waist. Women love that V taper in men, which is a narrow waist with big muscular shoulders and a big muscular back. But just like everything, there's a line. For guys, we like girls with big asses, but there are some that are too big, which end up being a turnoff. And for women, this is the bodybuilder's physique. Finis both did a survey over a thousand women and gave them four body types to choose from. Skinny, lean, athletic, or built. And the results were overwhelming, with an incredible majority picking the lean or athletic body type as the most attractive body for a man. A great example of a lean physique is Sneeko, while a great example of an athletic physique is Leon Edwards. Because Leon Edwards has that athletic V taper that's truly powerful. Even though Sneeko looks attractive according to women, that's not a physique I recommend to people. Because someone like me would bully that guy. Because he's too skinny and he's weak. But if you're athletic, not only are you considered the most attractive, but you're actually physically capable. Which is one of the biggest motivators on women finding a man's body attractive. If you've never lifted weights before, you'll think that the bodybuilder physique is actually the most powerful. But have you seen a bodybuilder run? They can't run for two minutes without gassing out. And they move like a concrete block. This physique not only sucks in terms of athletic performance, but it's also not healthy. Your body's not meant to put on muscle with no performance benefits. Leon Edwards is extremely strong, especially compared to his body weight. Moves incredibly well and is quick, which is a huge reason why he's the UFC welterweight champion. He could beat up any bodybuilder whenever he wanted to, which is why women find this physique aesthetic, and it's the most aesthetic physique on the planet. Leon Edwards accomplished his physique by fighting with a little bit of a focus in lifting weights. But the reason he was able to do this without a focus on lifting weights is his genetics. But a lot of us with horrible genetics, like myself, have to train differently to get a physique like that. This kind of physique accentuates the most aesthetic muscle groups. And there are four muscles which I call the most aesthetic or the most attractive muscles on a guy. The back, the shoulders, the stomach, and the legs. The back and shoulders add width. The wider your body is, the narrower your waist looks. So building the back and shoulder musculature will accentuate that V taper, which is the symbol of aesthetics in a guy. Third is the stomach. All you need to look aesthetic is a flat stomach. But if you want to take it to the next step, you want a six pack. Women love guys with a six pack. Don't get that confused. Tons of these public interviews and surveys where they ask girls what kind of body type is best will have girls saying they like the dad body. But look at the girls who say that. They're either not in shape or unattractive. And if you've been around the dating market, it, you'll know watch what women do not what they say but in order to get a six-pack you have to get very lean which adds to a different dimension of the stomach which is the waist the narrower your waist is the more aesthetic you're going to look which is a huge reason why Leon Edwards is so aesthetic and just like getting a six-pack you want to get as lean as possible to get your waist narrower here's a clip of my back near 180 pounds and now here's a clip of my back at 165 pounds you can see I'm a lot leaner at 165 pounds and my waist is a lot more narrow so believe it or not I was more aesthetic at a lower weight. A point I'll dive into later. And last, the legs. Leon Edwards has great legs. But do you need big legs to be aesthetic? Not really. The reason I say it's one of the most aesthetic muscle groups is because if you have small legs, it can ruin your entire physique. And I'm not talking about the calves. Leon Edwards has small calves. I have small calves. Chris Bumstead's calves aren't that big. And to be honest, a lot of girls find bulky calves make you look a little shorter. Most overrated men's muscles. Number one, calves. I don't understand why you even focus on them. Large calves make you look short and stubby. I'm getting Napoleon complex by I will never not persuade someone to train their calves, and I actually applaud you for it. But for someone like me, I'd rather hit abs at the end of my workout because I believe it's more aesthetic than cranking out some calf raises at the end. And in terms of body weight, body weight doesn't matter that much in terms of aesthetics. But after looking at some surveys and polls, I found that between 170 pounds and 190 pounds is the most aesthetic weight for a guy. And this is for an average height guy, so about 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, if you're shorter, decrease the weight. If you're taller, increase it. But I find that weight is not something you should prioritize. For me right now, now I'm close to 180 pounds, but I was way more aesthetic at 165 pounds, which is why I'm cutting back down to that at this moment. Because shape is more important than size. So I'm 5'10", and I currently fall within the range I set out, which is 170 to 190 pounds. But that's not my most aesthetic weight. So your weight for your most aesthetic lean and athletic V taper is different from mine or somebody else's. So my biggest recommendation for someone looking to be more aesthetic is not focusing on the scale. Focus on the mirror. So you'll probably notice I didn't mention the chest or the arms as aesthetic 
sympathetic muscle group. But that doesn't mean to never train them. It's just that these muscles are more important. The chest is a smaller muscle than most people think. It's actually smaller than the shoulders. And they only make you look bigger from the front. While the biceps and the triceps for me grow as part of these big muscle groups. But just to clarify again, that doesn't mean these muscles aren't important. But the other muscles should have more focus. For example, I train shoulders and chest on the same day. And most of the time I'll train my shoulders before my chest because I want to prioritize my shoulders because they're a bigger and more aesthetic muscle group. But then some blocks of training I'll hit chest first. But when trying to look aesthetic or like Leon Edwards, you want to prioritize these aesthetic muscle groups most of the time. And within those aesthetic muscle groups, there are muscles that are more aesthetic, like the mid delt. The deltoid muscle has three different fibers, the front delt, the mid delt, and the rear delt. With the mid delt being more important because it gives you width. So whenever I hit shoulders, I hit lateral raises first to target the mid delt, then hit overhead press. Despite the overhead press being a core exercise. So my best tip when training shoulders is get strong at the overhead press and then prioritize the mid delt. So for me, once I could do one bite on each side or 135 pounds for reps, then I started prioritizing my mid delt first. And for the back, it's the lats. The lats, just like the mid delt, give you width. My favorite exercise for the lats are pull-ups. But there are a lot of different exercises that target the lats and you need to try out and see which ones you like the best. But again, with any training program, variety is key. And with the legs, I'd say they're all just as important. For a guy, you think the quads are super important, but women like big glutes on a guy. But if you get strong at squats, you're gonna see your legs grow. It's that simple. And with ab training, I like to do ab training, but you don't necessarily have to do it because being lean is the most important part for getting abs. But with abs, don't do these ab circuits. These ab circuits, you never get close to failure and they're hard to progressively overload. Ab circuits are typically more of a conditioning workout rather than one to build muscle. So my big tip for training abs is train them like any other muscle group. For example, I'll do like decline crunches where I can add weight and get close to failure. And a big philosophy of my channel is athletic bodybuilding. I made a separate video where I went in depth on how to do athletic bodybuilding, but I'll sum it up real quick. You use bodybuilding principles combined with athletic movements to create that athletic physique. An example of a bodybuilding principle is rep range. You want to be training in a hypertrophy rep range. And an example of an athletic movement is a squat compared to a bodybuilding movement, which is like a leg press. Athletic movements are where you're on your feet whenever possible and you don't use machine. Another way to look like Leon Edwards is to do a sport on the side. I do kickboxing on the side and once I started doing that, it made it easier for me to stay lean and I started developing muscle groups that I needed for my sport. For example, my shoulders and my obliques started getting bigger, stronger, and more aesthetic when I started kickboxing. The big benefit of doing sports on the side is maybe additional growth in those muscle groups, but for me, burning those extra calories helps you stay lean. And just like we were talking about, the abs are one of the most aesthetic muscle groups. And to have great abs, you must be lean. Being lean is honestly the biggest component of aesthetics. Just like in the survey before, even a small lean body type like that Sneeko build is considered aesthetic. But when you put muscle on that physique, that's where you build that athletic physique. So in order to get lean, you have to build muscle first. And once you've built enough muscle, you can reveal it with a cut. But if you're not lean already, that probably means you just aren't muscular enough. Take it from me, I've gone through all the mistakes and everything and trying to get lean, trying to get muscular, and I found the solution is to build muscle and then cut down after you've built that muscle. That's how you get lean and aesthetic. But the hardest part of being aesthetic is staying lean. And doing a sport on the side combined with a healthy diet will allow you to stay aesthetic forever. Here's a video on athletic bodybuilding and another video on nutrition which you'll need to get that athletic lean V taper. And then you'll truly look like Leon Edwards. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. And so should men. No, don't say that. That's too gay, bro.